Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome to a vlog about my photography. It's something that I've not spoke to you guys much about, and I felt that it was about time that um, I give you a bit of an insight into that sort of thing. So, um, leading uh, today is a wedding day. Uh, I'm going to be doing wedding photography today. I'm just sat here. It's seven o'clock in the morning. I've just got up. I've got some breakfast, and um, I'm going to start getting things ready and stuff. I mean, there's a lot that's gone on to lead up until today. Um, obviously, things like portfolios, uh, marketing, um, going to trade shows and all that sort of thing, and um, all the sort of things that build up and, and, and it, a business and all the things to acquire uh, new, new clients, new people that I can take photos for. Um, but today, uh, I've got a couple. I, I spoke to the bride a few days ago, and we arranged all the last final details. Uh, we talked about the go all the different steps going through the day. So um, today, uh, I know what's going to happen and when, so I just have to make sure that uh, everything is ready to go. So last night, I charged all my batteries, got all my memory cards out, got my equipment and piled it up in the kitchen. Uh, this morning, I will finish that process off, so I'll be packing those batteries that I charged up away. Uh, I'll be making sure that I've got some food and drink to take with me, and I'll be making sure all those memory cards are nice and clean and wiped, and um, just the equipment is all ready and good to go. So, um, time to, to get cracking and get all that together. Right then, so um, I have gone and got showered and ironed my clothes and got all ready. Um, the last of my batteries have finished charging. Uh, I have six batteries in total. I can probably get through an entire wedding with just one battery, but I've actually got twice as much kit as what I need for a wedding. Uh, if anything goes wrong, I've got another one. So I've got a primary camera and I've got a secondary camera. Primary is the one I prefer, I like. The other one is a good camera, um, but it's, it's not as good um it was certainly would be good enough i just have a better one so it's nice to have the knowledge and that if anything goes wrong i'm covered the same goes with the batteries so like i can go through a, an entire day on one battery maybe two depending on how long the day is today it's it's going to be about a nine ten hour day um so i might go through two batteries and the same goes for the memory cards. Each of my cameras takes two memory cards at the same time. And um, it, when you take a photo, it puts the photo on both memory cards. So I have a lot of memory cards. So I tend to swap the memory cards halfway through the day. So I've got half the wedding on one set and half the wedding on the other set. So two in each camera. And then changing halfway through the day, eight memory cards. Um, it, some might think it's a little bit overkill to split your memory cards and have backups and have the kit then again. But to be honest, I'd rather be safe than sorry when it comes to a wedding. So, I'm ready. Um, all my kit's ready. I've gone through the notes so I know um, when I'm meeting and where I'm going and that sort of thing. And I've also... Um, what have I done? What have I, I, oh yeah, I've taken photos of all the documents, just in case I can't get them online. If I lose signal, I can just look at my photo gallery and look to where I need to go. Um, as well as cameras in here, I've got a couple of different lenses just in case I need to do anything in particular. This lens I might decide down here to use if we get a couple of particular like portrait type shots before we leave the house and that sort of thing. Um, this lens, uh, you, you can get some good bouquet shots off the back of that um, at long distances. It's a, it's a good trade off that one. Um, and the caps come off. Get back on. There we go. Uh, I've also got grips um, to fit on the bottom of my cameras. It provides extra stability and extra battery power, so I can put a second battery in there. And along with all the photography equipment, I've also got um, like some paracetamol and stuff like that in case uh, of any headache or not feeling too good. Um, carrying a heavy camera and running around taking photos for roughly nine, ten hours can can be relatively hard work. So, you know, if 
you don't get to drink much while you're while you're doing it or if you don't get to eat then you could end up with a headache and stuff so i end up, i always take that sort of thing lots of other little bits in here but i'm not going to tell you about every single bit of kit so there's just some of the important points batteries all done um memory cards all wiped as well always reformat all the memory cards before each run and uh, when i uh, when i get there i'll pop the batteries and memory cards in and off we go um Speaking of off we go, it's time for me to put these stuff in the car and, um, well, set off. I'm giving myself half an hour contingency, so as long as the traffic's not bad, I will arrive half an hour early and we'll start shooting early. Well, I've just arrived at the first location and it is in the middle of nowhere. There's nothing. There's nothing here for a little while. Uh, fantastic little place uh, where we're going to hopefully get some lots of lovely photos and uh, we're going to be here for just over an hour or so uh, before we go on to the main wedding venue um, it is warm today a little too warm uh, the sun is a little too bright but there's quite a lot of light wispy cloud around which is really good that's going to hopefully just kind of make it not so blinding for everybody you don't want people squinting all over the place but you know when i'm driving around and, and when i'm doing photography you have to keep a good eye on the weather where the sun's rising and setting so can sometimes be important as well if you want us to do sun, sunset photos and things like that but uh we've got a lot of freedom at the venue in terms of of area to do photos in and things as well so gonna get my bits out the boot and uh, head on in so we took a load of photos, uh, mainly inside the house. Uh, it was really good. You get the opportunity to meet everybody. It's a good starting point, um, obviously, at the beginning. But um, you've got to break the ice a little bit because most people are a little bit uncomfortable having their photo taken, especially a lot, especially when they're trying to do other things. So you've got to kind of blend in, be there, but not be intrusive. But you've still got to get in to get the photos you need. So I've just driven from the house to the venue and it's supposed to be in about another 11 minutes and then guests are meant to be arriving. I can already see a lot of guests here. So I'm gonna get straight out there, uh, find the groom and work from there and then get ready for the bride's arrival, the ceremony and everything that follows. Okay, so uh, Sarah, the, the, uh, it's hot. <laughs> The bride um, arrived, um, came into the ceremony, uh, we had the ceremony, uh, photos throughout, and we went outside into the garden to take some family and friend photos and a few other shots here and there. Everybody is now outside in the bar, having drinks, talking to each other. I <laughs> already caught the sun, it is so hot out there. I've just done a photo check, I've taken 1,650 odd photos. Um, you take out test shots and you take out the duplicates. You're probably looking in somewhere into four to six hundred photos that they're going to be getting from that. Soon they'll be sitting down to eat, and that's when I actually get my first proper break. I've just come inside to uh, change some of my camera equipment and sort a few things out. I'm going back out there now. Well, it's finally time for the wedding breakfast, and this is the moment where I actually get um, a short break. So. Generally, people don't want photos taken while they're uh, while they're eating. Which makes sense. So it's a good opportunity for me to step to one side. Um, I'm out in the gardens. They're in there over there having their hog roast. Um, so I changed my batteries and stuff. Took loads of photos outside. I think must be getting close to 2,000 photos by now. And we went out into the gardens. The um, is it called a botanical garden? I don't know. It's a different sort of garden. Um, out out the back there and with the bride and groom and we took uh, some bride and groom photos and um, unfortunately it was a little bit more rushed than I would like. Um, we're behind schedule. It's no, you know, it's one of those things. Things happen sometimes in the day which which push other things around and it can't be helped. And you just have to work with what you've got. So. Sometimes you can have a nice stroll with the bride and groom out. You can even take half an hour, have a nice walk out somewhere, take lots of nice photos. Um, 
other times you you just have to go out there and it's just a couple of minutes because that's all you have time constraints is is something you have to you have to know what's happening when it's happening where it's happening who it's happening with uh, and uh, yeah you have to you have to know all those things and out of everybody uh, it's like oh, what time is it or what's next and that sort of thing it's usually me that knows what's going on and what's happening next because if I don't know what's happening I can't be there to take the photo or I can't be ready for the situation so so now it's time for me to take that break uh, I don't know how long I'll get um, but it's pushed on to about I think it must be nearly five o'clock now. I think I need to sneeze. No, I'm good. And um, I'm here until eight. So um, another, I think it's three hours or so, and then I'll be heading off back home. It's going to take an hour to get home and then bring all the equipment in and that. So, um, yeah, I mean, we've got the cake cutting to do and the dance to do, and I'll take a few photos of the party and stuff. So this has really been my first opportunity to catch up and, and see how things are going, but it's going well and it's, uh, it's a lovely wedding. So um, looking forward to taking the rest of the photos. Uh, and done. There we go. Uh, it's half past eight. And I, well, I say done. I've got to get home yet. Transfer the files, all that sort of thing. But no, it's good. Um, we had the speeches. I think it's a little bit windy. Sorry for the noise. Uh, yeah, we had the speeches and we had dancing, first dance, cutting cake. Took photos of all of that. Uh, it was cracking, really. And um, a few extra photos, people dancing, having fun. Uh, it's always nice to do. Uh, so now it's a matter of driving home and getting everything backed up before anything could possibly go wrong. Uh, the sun is setting in the sky behind me just over there over the trees um, and yeah I, I suppose I'll, I'll say goodbye when I get home and I'm home uh, it's quarter to ten at night a little bit later than I originally planned um, I thought I might get home at half nine so it's only about 15 minutes more I had a good journey back uh, so now I'm gonna have to get changed and um, get the memory cards out of the camera. Uh, each camera's got two memory cards in, so uh, I've got two sets of the wedding. One set of memory cards I'll put somewhere safe until I finish the project. The other set of memory cards I will load into the computer. Uh, they can get wiped in case I need them again sometime soon. And then when they're in the computer, they also get backed up to a second drive. Well, technically to a third drive because uh, well, it's, it's complicated. Lots of drives, lots of backing up. And um, what I will probably do is set it all up to copy and get everything in the right place and plug the things in and then just leave it to copy overnight because it can take quite a while to copy around 3,500 files. So there's a lot of stuff there. Uh, and then in the morning... <laughs> In the morning I will get up and uh, before I do the weekly shop I'm going to go through the pictures um, ooh, pick out a couple of key ones and um, edit probably five to ten and put them on my Facebook page as a preview for the bride and groom in the morning and the family and then the rest will be done when they're done. <laughs> Um, that's just this is how it works. I have times when I can work on it, and uh, I think it might take a little while this one because uh, there was a lot of changes in light. Some take longer to edit than others. Um, some of them it's just like yeah, just yeah, small little balance there, and yeah, it's all good. Uh, but these ones because there was very bright sunlight, then it go behind a cloud, then it come out again, then we were inside, then we were outside. Um, there was a lot of big changes in light and whilst I can do most of that work um, when I'm changing the settings on the camera as I'm going uh, it does mean that it probably needs a bit more balancing in the edit so every photo is going to have to be considered and, and tweaked uh, but there we go um, 
that was a day in a, it was a very typical wedding, really. So um, I know you didn't get to see any of the wedding and stuff, really. So, but um, I have put a few pictures uh, throughout the vlog, so you've seen some of the things that I've taken along the way. Um, but yeah, it's always an enjoyable. I I enjoy it a lot, and um, I, I, well, I wouldn't do it if I didn't. I do enjoy it a lot, and I did a lot last year. Deliberately not doing as much this year. I think I did a little bit too much last year. Um, but for every hour or so that I'm out taking photos, then there's about two hour, hours worth of editing, processing, collecting them together, putting them on the website and stuff. So I was out today shooting from about half ten till half eight. How many hours is that? Nine or ten hours. Not sure. It's going to be about 20 hours work uh, to edit. And obviously I'm not going to do that all in one go. So it's going to take a little bit while. So I hope you've enjoyed this little kind of a scene, behind the scenes into uh, a day of my photography. I know it's just a couple of me talking to the cameras and you're not, uh, you don't get to see much. But it, it's a little bit of a story for you. So this is, that's that's the story of my day today. I hope you enjoyed my story. And um, if you want to ask any questions about it, feel free to pop them down in the comments. And I will see you sometime soon. So I'm going to get changed. Probably have something to eat. And uh, then it's going to be some bedtime pretty soon after that. Thanks for watching. Take care. Goodbye.